YouTube, welcome back. Today on Kung Fu Science, I'm going to be showing five exercises that are made to increase speed and tendon flexibility. Um, as we all know, the secret to speed is relaxation and powerful tendons. Um, so, without further ado, let's get started. First exercise I wanted to show you is for your wrists. Actually, the first two are going to be about the wrists. You'll notice that um, if you do any sort of martial arts training, um, if you train in gloves or you train in wrist tape, you basically weaken your wrist. You've got this structure that helps your wrist to take impact. And if you're boxing professionally and that's all you do, that's fine. You know, if you're fighting in the ring and that's what you do, you're, it's fine. But uh, you'll notice that if you are used to training that way and then you go bare knuckles and you train on a punching bag, when you hit the bag, some, occasionally you might roll your wrist. And nothing hurts worse than rolling your wrist, especially when you're not used to it. So here are two exercises that will help with that. The first one, very simple. Pull the wrist back this way. And the same with up top. Now, a no stretch will work if you don't do the position for at least 15 seconds or more. So if you just go, wah, wah, you're not getting anything out of it. All right, so when you do this, you can also do one finger at a time. All right, okay. Another one is this way. You put your arm straight out, and you will flick the hand up and down. You can flick as hard as you can up, flick as hard as you can down. And you can go side to side. Your hands straight out like this, and you reach your fingers back like you want to touch your wrist here as far as you can. And when you rotate down to the bottom, you can flick it up. Right? And you can pull this way, rotate, rotate, flick. Do your rotations into your flicks. Alright, and then you can just grab and pull. So just doing those alone will really increase your strength and your forearm tendons. You will see a difference, especially if you do this for long periods of time. I used to work on watches for a living, and uh, I would get a lot of pain in my hands and wrists because I was always in these really small things. So I started doing these flicks up and down. I would do like 50 in each direction before I would go to work, and it really would eliminate the pain in my wrists. All right, number three. This one's for the shoulder, and you will find that this is not as easy as it looks. You want to disconnect your tension from your neck to your shoulder. Completely relax it and let your arm You'll find this is actually not super easy for some people. <clears throat> Having nice strong tendons and loose muscles in your shoulders is really important. You can't have tension in your shoulders when you're trying to be a fighter. It slows down your punch. Really tension anywhere in your arm slows you down. Tension, muscle flexible or muscle strength muscle tension is made for slowing you down right your punch is not powerful when you hold the brakes <clears throat> right you need to hit the gas wow wow right let the tendons do the work don't make your muscles do the work muscles are not going to make your punch powerful tendons are so this spin here can really also help with blood circulation it kind of pulls the blood into your arms and after you do it for a minute on each side you will feel this nice tingly good feeling in your arms all right the next one there's a saying in China the saying is that you're only as old as your spine this one's for tension or uh, for flexibility um, tendon flexibility and tension release in the spine <clears throat> this one tickles the ego this one right here tickles the ego too I noticed that one uh, I notice that when I ask people to do the shoulder rotation at the beginning, a lot of times they're like, 
because they're so tense and they just don't want to even do it. They like don't want to look silly. Not wanting to look silly is attachment to the way you look. Attachment slows you down. Attachment is the source of suffering. Don't have attachment. Let go of the ego. It's not important in martial arts. All right. So anyway, this one is great for that. You know who uses that drill? Conor McGregor uses that drill. This is really good for your spine, for your shoulders, and really for close quarters attacks too. Whenever you're getting hit, if you're tense, boom, 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 right? If you're like a wall, everything's gonna hit the wall. But if you're gooey, right, you can deflect things so close. Of course, I don't mean stand there and go and get hit. But you know, if you do take impact like that, wow, it does technically disperse the energy. You know, so when you're real close, you can use this, this give in the spine that you wouldn't normally have to get out of really tense situations, right? Maybe your arm's gotten collapsed, right? You screwed up your wing chun, your arm's getting way too close to your body. Use your spine to get out, right? But you can't do that without. A relaxed spine. The last one. I go up to the wall. I lift my leg up, and I'm kind of doing the same concept where I was swinging the arm, but with my leg. You want to take your time with it. You want to do it a lot. While you're doing that, you're pendulum. You're like a pendulum with your leg, right? So you want to use gravity and just give a little assistance with your body. You don't want it to be all muscle, right? You don't want it to be all based on strength. Let it be based on gravity. You're just pendulum back and forth. You can also do it like this, where you bring the leg up and you throw a kick out, and then you bring it back to the other side and you throw another kick. Bonus one. Here's a bonus one that you can do for your hips, right? Because the hips and the shoulders are really important. So here's another one for your hip. You can bring the leg up high. I don't know if you can see it. It's the same thing with the pendulum. You really want to. You can definitely feel it in the hip. Woo! It's a good one. Those five tendon exercises, if you work on those and you work on relaxing, it will increase speed and strengthen your tendons. Both of those are key. All right, until next time, thank you for watching Kung Fu Science. What's in your Kung Fu?